This is an interesting one, and it doesn't have a lot of context, but I'm not going to apologise for that just yet, uh, because it might come clear, or there might be something in the future that I do that uh, shows a little bit why I'm messing around with this. Anyway, there's some interesting stuff that you can do in custom features, of course, and I've you know, spent quite a bit of time in the past talking about it. But here's another one. Um, there is a really interesting command called EV collision or evaluate collision. And you can look at the collision between bodies, um, between tools and targets. And those bodies can be just about anything, uh, surfaces, faces, bodies, right? Uh, curves, uh, parts, and mate connectors. But we'll just have a look at curves for the moment and, and show you something really kind of cool here. Um, I've got a surface here. Um, the first one here I'll do. And I have a large number of curves that I'm going to unleash on you now. So here they are. Uh, there's a bunch of curves which are based off a spline, and I've just copied them. And as you can see, they're all curve parts down here. And then there's a lot in this plane here as well. So they extend off the side. Um, some of them overlap and some of them don't. So my collision detection is going to do something a little bit like this. I can choose the tools and let's just choose all of these ones and you see something interesting going on in the dialog box here. Uh, see how this is new in version 1.171 where the cure, the, uh, the, the collector uh, for the selection can be resized and it will automatically resize to a certain point and then stop, uh, won't go off the bottom of the screen. Uh, but I can resize it back to, to something a little bit reasonable there. Anyway, that was cool that we just released. Um, and I'm going to put the target, I'll select this, this surface. And you see how quickly it's calculated the number of collisions, uh, 470 something. Um, we can also, in this, uh, what I've done is provide a keep out region. So I'm selecting a split part of this surface. And you'll see that it actually reduces the number of collisions. Um, I'll take that out again. So it's reduced it um, by 68 there. And uh, so, you know, what I'm doing here is, is just evaluating the collision and nothing more. Um, it's something that is, is very performant. Uh, you can see that only took 90 milliseconds to evaluate those 400 collisions between these curves and the surface underneath it. Uh, just for something a little bit different, let me delete that one. I have another surface which is a spline, um, based off a spline, and it has another keep out region on it. Here, I just did this by splitting the face. Uh, it's still one part, and, which is the surface part here, the, but the face has been split. Anyway, I turn all those curves back on again, and if I do one of my collision checks, I'll choose all of these ones and all of these ones here except for the surface itself and resize that it's fun to do and use that and you see how now we've got 248 collisions and I take away this zone we'll end up with 134 so there's a lot of potentially interesting things you could do um, for your own features uh, custom features um, for this some kind of a low-lying underlying fundamental piece of geometric uh, manipulation or just editing, uh, evaluation, sorry, uh, that you can do with this. And I've got a couple of use cases that I will be you know, working up a little bit more before I unleash them on the world, um, but just thought this would be fun to show, uh, especially when you're dealing with large numbers like this, um, large numbers of curves, large number of entities. Uh, typically, you can run into problems um, with performance and things like this, but you know, in this case, no, it looks uh, looks pretty good.